Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the World Guard API in order to uh, create regions for players from within your plugin. For those of you that don't know, and I'm assuming that all of you know what World Guard is, it's a plugin from the creator of World Edit that allows you to um, cr cr create um, arenas and then assign different flags to them. For example, you could create a region for your spawn and disable PvP, disable damage, and other things like that. There are, of course, tons of other things that you can do, and it also has a cool API so you can um, use plugins to tap into its power. Um, we're going to be writing a basic plot system which will actually use a world edit selection to create a new um, region with that selection and um, assign that the player that ran the command as the owner. Now of course um, this is not the greatest way to go about doing it because it's basically the equivalent of making a world edit selection than using a world guard command but I'm just showing you how to declare um, world edit uh, arenas, not arenas, world edit um, regions in your uh, plugin so you can apply it to other things. Um, so to get started you want to download world guard and world guard requires world edit so you also want to download that. Make sure that they're both in your server folder, the plugins folder. Then um, when you create your new project you want to um, go to Properties or Command I, Control I. Go to your build path. Make sure you have Bucket, of course, but also World Edit and World Guard. You need to have World Edit in there, or else World Guard uh, will give you errors. So make sure you have all three of them in your build path, and then we are ready to go. Now, um, you will notice here that I have this Get World Guard method. Basically, this returns an instance of World Guard plugin if World Edit is installed. Um, so, this method you can just copy from the code in the description. It's not really terribly important, but basically, if World Edit, if World Guard rather is installed on the server, it'll return an instance of World Guard plugin. If it is not, it'll return null. So you'd probably want to just do a check to see if it is null. You could just do that in the constructor, probably, or the on enabled in this case. So. Um, I also have a command set up here. It requires um, a player, and if it's not a player, then it'll tell you that you can't create a plot. Then if the command is plot, we want to grab their world edit selection and then actually create a plot from it. So the first thing we want to do is say selection cell, we'll call it, is equal to, and we're also going to need our world guard plugin uh, method because uh, we need that. Now, if you remember, we did drag um, world edit into the build path, so we can use it. And let me just remember um, which plugin we used with world guard, so I can just grab that method. Give me one second. The method, I actually just um, copied world guard plugin and replaced world guard with world edit because they work, you know, pretty much the same way. So, um, again, you just want to go ahead and grab both of these from the description below uh, in the code. Not really important. Then we need to do get um, world edit dot get selection for p. So we're getting the current world edit selection. Make sure to import selection. Now, of course, um, if the player is if there is no selection, then we want to tell them that they need to make a selection. So we can go ahead and do this with a null check. So if um, selection is equal to null, um, we'll send them a message in red. You must make a selection. Then we can return true. So at this point, we know that they do, in fact, have a selection. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, first, we're going to define um, an instance of protected region which represents the region that we want to create. So we're going to say protected region region is equal to new protected region. Go ahead and import protected region and we're actually in this case going to use a protected protective protected cuboid re region because um, we have a cuboid that we are um, using, and that's basically just like, you know, a cube-like shape. Now, if you go ahead and look at this, you'll see that the constructors that it takes 
um, are two block vectors, and then also you can give it um, an ID. So we want to go ahead and say, first we want to give it the ID, um, which we, that's basically what it's represented, that's like, you know, the idea that it's represented as, you know, so you can access it later, and then we're going to call it just plot underscore p dot get name, so, you know, plot underscore pogostick 29 or whatever. Now, of course, with the UUIDs, you probably wouldn't want to do this, but, um, you know, it's okay for now. Now, it wants two block vectors, so we want to say cell dot, um, get minimum point, and then there should be a get vector method in here. Maybe not. Maybe two vector. There we go. And then cell dot get maximum point dot two vector. Let's see if that works. Oh, I spelled projected protected cuboid region. And that did not work. Okay, so what we actually need to do is we need to wrap this inside of a new block vector and then give it that, and we can actually just like, you know, for formatting, go like that, just to make it easier to see. Go ahead and import block vector from um, world guard or world edit, and then you just want to do the second one, new block vector, and then pass it that vector. And then, why is that not working? It says it takes, or it takes a vector. Oh, here we go. So we, there is actually a two block vector. Let's try that. That might not work. If that doesn't work, I will pause the video and check it out. Alright, just give me one second to figure out exactly how to do this. I'm looking and I figured out we just want to do new block vector and we're doing get native minimum and get native maximum because then that returns the type of vector um, basically world edit and world guard have their own vector um, and block vector classes that are different from buckets so get native minimum and maximum is going to return the um, vector that they want and then we can use this block vector. It's just, it's just returning the, I think this returns the bucket version which is what we want to use, not the uh, world edit version. Uh, so now we have the region defined. Now we need to do the owner. So we're going to say default domain domain owners is equal to new default domain. This is just basically like a wrapper class for you can take a look and say um, owners dot and then you'll see um, you can create groups. I think that might be a function of world edit or probably world guard. Not quite sure. And then, but what we want to do is just add player, and then the player is going to be p.getName. Now, this might become deprecated with the new UUIDs, but um, if it does, it would probably just take, like, I think for the local player, you can do um, get world guard dot, I think it's wrap player. There we go. So that's probably the better thing to do. And then that'll add player given this local player, which is the class that um, World Guard has defined. So now we're um, adding this player. Then we want to go ahead and say region dot set owners to owners. So now this um, player that just did it is the owners. Now here's where we actually register it. Get World Guard dot get region manager for p.getWorld. So we're getting the region manager for the current world because each world has its own region manager because, you know, region of the same name could be defined in multiple worlds. So we're getting it for the current world and then we are going to say add region and then it wants a protected region so we're passing it this region that we just created. And then we'll um, go ahead and send message chat color dot green and then we'll just say um, created plot with ID and then we'll say region dot get ID so that we can just make sure so it should say plot underscore pogo stick 29 that should do it uh, we need to register the command and what was it called plot um, usage slash command description claim a plot from a we selection and then that should be good so let's go ahead and export it plots let's go ahead and start up 
our server. Now, don't forget, you need to have world edit and world guard on here. And you might want to also add depend um, world edit world guard, which means that it won't load unless world edit and world guard are present. Because as you can see, it's actually giving us errors because we didn't add that line and it tried to load this before um, the other one and then it didn't work. So now we won't get the errors because it didn't. It loaded world edit and world guard before it loaded um, our own plots plugin. So now we're good. Let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. And um, really quickly, this is very important for right now and then for any future release. As you can see, Minecraft 1.7.6 and 1.7.7 have been released. Um, but if you take a look through the FAQ and you know the more information, you'll notice that it does not. Um, the uh, servers need to be updated to support it. You need so if a new version is released and it says that the servers will need to be updated, that means the bucket will need to be updated, which could take a little while and of course isn't available immediately. So you want to make sure to edit your profile to the last um, mate, the last release um, that is supported by bucket. So I'm even though 1.7.7 .7 is the latest, I'm on 1.7.5. So whenever a new version comes out, if it breaks compatibility with current servers, you need to make sure to use the older one. So now let's go ahead and connect to our local host server. And let's see, I have logged in. Alright, so let's actually go ahead and give this a try. Let's go ahead and do slash plot, which will, of course, tell me to make a selection. So let's grab a wand and then we will go ahead and take let's just grab some wool to actually mark out so we can easily tell where it will be now if we go ahead and do slash plot you'll see it says created plot with id um, plot underscore progressive 29 which means that it was able to retrieve the plot name from the um, you know the region name from the region so that did work and i believe if we go to like region list as you can see, um, if I go to region list, we have testing, which was one I made, I think, a few days ago when I was when I had the idea of making this video and I was testing some stuff. And then, as you can see, it also says plot underscore pogo stick twenty nine, which means I'm lagging a bit, but that means that this plot was um, or this region really was registered with World Guard and is a valid region. You can tell that it is because it showed up in World Guard's list of regions. That wasn't my own plugin, that was World Guard, which means that it received the new region that we created and it is registered and official and all of that. So that's all for this video. It just shows you how to create World Guard regions from a plugin. You can create them problematic programmatically um, without having to actually like, you know, have a player run a command or whatever. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.